Hey everyone, good morning, it's me, Stephanie Nietzsche. I am making my video today a little earlier. I'm having my coffee. Usually I go on social media and I check my comments and I answer everyone and maybe I'll start to write and later on I get that, you know, creative surge where I wanna make some videos. But today I know exactly what I wanna talk about because I heard a pretty funny story and I wanna get your opinion on it and of course, this story can be writing related because this is a situation that happened, an occurrence that I wanna share and I want everybody to weigh in on it, but it also makes for a good character or a good scene in a story, or it makes two good characters. So th this, is, this is where we're gonna begin. So it's about dating. And I don't know if any of you have recently been on dates or dated a long time ago. And sometimes, you know, back then you would get, I don't know, I don't want to call it a referral, but maybe you would get set up and your friend would say, hey, I got this cousin, he or she, you know, they're really nice, they're really cool, they're single, or they just broke up with somebody, you're single, I think it would be great. And you know, they're trying their best to do a good thing because your friend likes you, likes hanging out with you, and they also like their cousin. And maybe they think if you and their cousin or a friend get together, then the two of you could hang out more with them and their boyfriend or girlfriend. So I get it. It totally makes sense. And like I said, back then, it was more like a referral system because it was your friend's cousin or your friend's friend or your friend's brother or sister. Not to say that that did not mean that that person, that total stranger that you were going out with wasn't a lunatic, but at least it was a referral. Nowadays, people are meeting online, which I also, you know, I think it's perfectly fine as long as you do your research, as long as you do your homework, um, you know, whatever it is, this is not what that video was about. So I don't wanna to get too in depth about what I believe in as far as dating online or anything like that goes. So here we go, here's, here's the story. So a guy asks a girl out, they met on the internet. A guy asks a girl out and she says yes. So they decide they're gonna go to the movies. He picks her up, they start driving and he pulls over and he says, hey, you know what? That candy, in the movie is you know expensive so I'm gonna just hop out right here I see a dollar store I'm gonna hop out and I'm gonna get us some candy I'll be right back you wait here so the guy hops out and he goes into the dollar store and the woman's sitting there waiting for him now when he comes back out he sees the woman is now out of the car and standing on the sidewalk and he's like what are you doing and she's like I called an uber He's like, you called an Uber, did something happen to the car? What's wrong? And she's like, no, if you're gonna buy our movie candy from the dollar store, you are not the guy for me. Uber pulls up, takes off, drives her away. She's gone. The guy is left standing there with his bag of dollar store candy. And a lot of dollar store candy too, by the way, not just the one or two boxes he would have bought at the movies he got good bang from his buck. I mean, three boxes of candy at the movies, maybe $25, $30, maybe even now, maybe $35 if it's like, you know, $12 a box or whatever. Now he's got a whole bag of candy from the dollar store. So that is the story. What I am asking you is, what do you think about that? How do you feel about someone asking you out and let's say to a movie, and then they want to pull over and get the candy from the dollar store. And how do you feel as the person that asks someone out and is going to take them to the movies and wants to buy the candy from the dollar store because they feel like, hey, the candy at the movie theater, it's, you know, expensive. It's, it's kind of a ripoff. I mean, it always has been a ripoff, even before this big you know, inflation high candy at the movie theater because they get you, they get you for the convenience. It looks tempting, it's part of the thing. If you bring kids to the movies, you know your kids are gonna want candy. They say you cannot bring candy in from the outside, so they make it, you know, really tough for you. 
Not that uh, they're going to check your bag or anything like that, but I know we went to a movie theater one time, me and my friend, we took our kids, and they did check our bags. And my friend would always make popcorn and put it in her backpack. I mean, you could smell that a mile away. And it doesn't smell like the movie theater popcorn, so they can tell. But anyway, I'm getting off topic now. What I want to know is how you feel about going out on a date and your date wants to get the candy from the dollar store to save the money and how you feel about going on a date and you are the person that wants to get the candy from the dollar store but that is unacceptable to your date so unacceptable that she doesn't want to see you again how do you feel about that and this is a great scene for your book if you're writing a book this is a great scene this is you know two great characters because you could take them shape them mold them in any way you would like Okay, I want to know. What do you think about it? It's me, Stephanie Nietzsche. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe if you do not subscribe already. And why not hit the notification bell if you want more videos like this? Have a fabulous day, my friends, and I'll see you next time.